First we're going to shuffle up character. We'll see what we can get. It is Jackie Chan, martial artist extraordinaire. So Jackie Chan, our protagonist, he has a goal. Which is to find duct tape. Everybody needs duct tape. The story's coming together pretty solidly already. But where is he? Jackie Chan is at a certain setting with, he's in the Milky Way. So Jackie Chan, astronaut extraordinaire and Kung Fu master because those two things go together so well. Uh, he's lost in the Milky Way and to get his way back, he's of course gonna need to get some duct tape because duct tape fixes everything. So we could raise the stakes a little bit with these stories, add a little bit more to it. So for a fourth pile, Mudslides. He's besought by mudslides on this alien planet he's on in the Milky Way. Or maybe it's some kind of nebular mudslide. That's a thing, right? We'll make it not hard science fiction. Or maybe there's an astronomer out there who can prove me otherwise, and we can get some cosmology going on and, and see what a nebula equivalent of a mudslide is. I assume it has something to do with a uh, star going supernova within the nebula, pushing all of this material across and of course his spaceship is getting caught up in what is the space version of a mudslide. I like this story. For a little improvised story, we're gonna draw up a character and see what we've got. We've got the Little Mermaid. Okay, we'll go with either the classic Disney or we could go all the way back to Hans Christian Andersen where the Little Mermaid's a little bit more of a tragic tale. It's don't want things you can't possibly have. So even when she gets her legs, she's never used her feet before. So even walking across marble is like walking on broken glass. Uh, and of course she dies in the end and turns into sea foam. I'd listen to that song. So the Little Mermaid, uh, instead of a positive goal as if she were pursuing something, we want to make a story now where she's trying to get away. So kind of a scary horror movie. So from this whole stack of potential antagonists, Little Mermaid is trying to escape mud. So, Little Mermaid is uh, being pursued. Mudslides, maybe. What if we just don't like that one? Let's draw another one. I would like her to be pursued by conspiracy theories. So, Little Mermaid. Uh, turned into a human, but I'm sure there's a lot of people sitting out there and. 16th, 17th, 18th century Denmark thinking, I don't trust these sirens of the sea. They drowned sailors all the time, and now one's on land. So what are we gonna do about it? We can uh, set this a little bit further, uh, placing it on the beach as one of our settings, or maybe it's taking place running across, um, I don't know, the pyramids, chasing her all the way to another thing. So. Just like Dadaism, it doesn't always work with improvisation, but it's a great experiment, and you can come up with all kinds of awesome stories.